Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and today we're going to be talking about this thing. I know it's not slightly, it's not quite retro, it's actually very modern indeed if you look at the processor down there, but that's what we're going to be talking about. Cue the music. Right, okay. So, here we are. This is the Intel Nook. Basically, it's a very small PC, um, and it interested me because I like the size of a modern-day console, but I wanted a PC that was a similar size, and it seems that they do exist. However, they're not exactly cheap. Anyway, this is the Intel Nook. It's it's called, um, it's, it's very aptly called, the Hades. Um, I'll just flip around the box for you, because it's like, unlock the performance, um, and we'll go around the other side. And we have nothing on that side, but well, that was very exciting, wasn't it? That was the best side ever. Then we have the sort of specs on the back of it. So it's a Generation 8 Core 7 um, processor with a Radeon, um, Radeon, 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 Radeon um, Vega chip. This isn't actually an integrated chip. This is this is this is the this is the the, the um, sort of what you get when Intel and um, actual um, AMD came together. They produced a single onboard chip. Now this is the kind of chip that you get in your Xboxes and you get in your um, PlayStation 4s and it's going to be in the new PlayStation 5s and it's also going to be in the old the new the, the sort of the new Xboxes. So So that's what this is. So it's a combination thing. So it, it, it comes fully equipped. It has everything you can possibly think of down here. We've got Thunderbolt ports. We have um, display port adapters, which means we've got, I think it's a total of six possible displays out of it, including one on the front. Now, that's there's a reason for that. It's designed with virtual reality in mind. So it's optimized for virtual reality and immersive gradient. So, so, so basically, you can get your headset plugged into the front of it. Um, you've got headsets. You've got um, two um, LAN ports. I mean, there's plenty of things going on here, and there's more information here if you want to go there, intel.com forward slash nook. Um, we'll go around the other side again. And that's just the spec, that's the sort of the, the various uh, um, serial numbers and things like that. And on this side, and this is the bottom, basically we've got a three year warranty. It tells you though, however, that this is a bare bones system. Um, it says what you need at this top corner here, so if I pull that a bit closer you can see that. It says what you need. You actually need to supply your own memory and you also have to supply your own SSD um, or M M2 SSD hard drive. So these are these new modern thin tiny ones and the operating system. So um, after you spent a fortune on buying one of these things, you still have to buy some more bits and pieces. So there's a maximum of 32 gig that you can put into it. Um, and there's two um, SSD drives if you want to put into it, which is quite cool, I think, anyway. Um, so when we open this up, um, I might have to move the camera in a second. Yes, I will. There we go. Swing it up. You, hopefully you can see that there. Um, I might turn the light on. There you go. You can see it when it's swinging. When it, and the apples. There's apples on the table. Um, when you swing it down, you can actually see the the, the, the the skull logo that's on there. Now, let's go swing it back down to the actual device itself. Here we go. On the bottom there. Yeah, obviously it's got a plastic on it and my camera and me. <laughs> um, but the device itself weighs an absolute ton. It's it's, it's a solid metal case. The whole thing is a metal case. Um, it just it's just weighs an absolute um, sort of you know you've bought a sort of quality made machine because it just feels and you know such a heavy little beast um, when you pick it up. Um, so there's your USB C's, there's your USB twos and uh, number three, sorry, USB threes, your two LAN ports, your, your HDMI out, um, your display ports will be there. There they are, two display ports. And then round on the front, you've got another HDMI, a port C. Um, I can't remember what that is. Is that the fastest one? I can't remember what that is. Um, SSD, and then obviously the on-off switch at the front there. Now, one of the things that I, I want to show you, but you can't see, because um, until I turn power this thing on, um, I'll take this, take this off for you. Oh, that was satisfying, wasn't it? Right, take this off here, and you can't see it at all. But the skull that features up here also features 
on here and you can change the color of it and the, 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 the way it looks so it actually glows if you really want to but that's the footprint that's the entire unit that's the entire size of it now that's tiny that's smaller than an Xbox one that's smaller than a PlayStation 4 yes okay it doesn't have a CD drive in any way shape or form but what a tiny little PC that is and obviously with the integrated chip so that's the unit let's move on to the box itself and see what's actually in the box so if we open up the box and we slide this through here and pull this out gently see I'm nice and gentle nice and gentle right so in here we have the mount for the back of it so that you can mount it on a, on the back of a PC I guess I don't think it's for a wall I mean I don't know doubtful yeah no it could be a wall there's some mounts there that can slide onto it so it could technically go on a wall so that's for mounting it if you'd want to mount it but I quite like the I think the fact is I quite like the size of it it weighs a ton but it but it, it to be fair it weighs more than a modern laptop you know just a normal sort of off-the-shelf basic laptop that weighs an awful lot more than that so we've got that then in the bottom of here we have da -da 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 -da, the biggest power brick in the universe look at the size of that monster that's a power brick. I mean, but to be fair, at the end of the day, it's running a whole video, you know, decent video card and a, and a, and a sort of a whole thing with it. So that's a really decent size power brick. What else have we got in here? We have the screws for the mounts and mounting bits in it, I'm guessing. And what else have we got? We have the power cable for the brick. We have the... Oh, let me see. We've got the... We've got a, we've got a sticker sticker for your, for, your, for your front of your thing if you want to put that on to show what it is to show it off I actually prefer it without to be honest with you I'm not a st I used to I like stickers but I don't I'm not a sticker man so there is actually the little if you can see that little focus focus might focus at some point anyway so that's it lit up that's your regulatory model tells you what all the ports are on the back and on the back so you've got all of those there. Uh, safety advice, we don't need that. Um, more information about the particular maker model. And we have the oh, suggestion of mem uh, suggestion of, a, a, of, a, of a, an SD uh, that you can use. So as I said before, so that's it. That's all that's in that box. That's the, that's the whole thing empty. It's, it's gone. We've got all the bits and pieces out of there. Um, so what you need as well is you need memory. So if you're gonna buy if you're gonna buy a nook, you might as well go the whole hog. So I've got two sets of uh, of, of memory. So I've got some some vengeance memory there. So that's uh, 32 gigs worth to go in it. And I've got also got a terabyte um, uh, SD uh, SSD. Um, M2 to go in there as well so um, I'm gonna get that at some point I'm gonna get the powered up this is just a sort of look in the box and show you what was in it so this is what we've got and I'm quite looking forward to putting that together and powering it up and turning it into the the PC that of my PC of my dreams my dream game PC PC anyway um, it's gonna get Linux on it by the way that's the one thing it's going to do so we'll see what happens with that as well um, I'm told that it's been fully optimized now for Linux which is really really good so so we'll see how that goes anyway I've been Real Genetic Demon thank you for watching please feel free to like and subscribe